hello everyone so in this video i am going to uh, demonstrate the saw resonator we are going to fabricate it on piezoelectric substrate so first i will explain you the steps and then i will demonstrate you so for that i would like you to uh, refer a photolithography video for initial steps so first of all we should have a mask either made from chrome plate or iron oxide so uh, this mask is used for the process so step one is to coat the SDMS for one minute at 400 RPM at our uh, piezoelectric substrate. So this SDMS is used in lithography to treat the surface of wafer. This makes it easier to coat the photoresist on the wafer surface. So actually we'll start with the UV box and this initial steps you may refer to our photolithography video. So second step would be to heat it for 10 minutes at 175 degree centigrade. And then cool it down till it comes out to the 100 degree centigrade. The next step would be to coat the photoresist. That is, we are using SU82002 negative photoresist. And we'll coat it at a 4500 RPM speed for 60 seconds. After that, we again heat it for 110 degree centigrade. For 1.5 minutes and then uv thing will come so we'll set some parameter like thickness and the mask distance and the exposure time and the power so these are given here in this uh, screen you can follow these after that uv process is done we will warm it for five minutes and then we'll develop it we'll put it into the developer and then uh, we'll clean it with ip and can see from the microscope whether the patterns are coming or not so this is a recursive process and then after that heat it to 300 to 325 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes and after 15 minutes bring it down cool it down to 100 degrees centigrade and then next step is to each out the aluminum by using aluminum eacher so in 10 to 15 minutes and sometime it takes 20 minutes to each out the aluminum from the wafer and then clean with the water and dry it so to remove the resist we uh, dip it into yellow solution i will attach the documents in the description for making this yellow solution and aluminum each and then after that uh, just clean it with ip and dry it so these are the steps now i'm going to demonstrate to how we do it so we we'll start with the uv box so this is the mask you can see so we are putting the lithium neobit piezoelectric wafer and we are trying to set it there and over it we will put our mask so that UV can expose through the mask and do its task. So very carefully uh, after aligning the wafer we are putting the mask over it and then after it uh, we will set the parameter and now we are uh, developing this by using the developer and then we are testing it in the microscope whether the pattern has come or not whether it got developed or not and after that uh, the next step is simple we are putting it into the aluminum feature and then we need to shake it like this so that the aluminum will go away and wherever we want the pattern will come out so uh, this process takes some time so we keep it doing like this you can see the aluminum the pattern can be seen with the naked eyes also because the aluminum is getting eased out and like that uh, as the time passes the aluminum go away and wherever we want the pattern it starts appearing here you can see it the resonator kind of a structure you can see clearly uh, we have made two resonator uh, with 15 and 20 micro uh, pitch size so after this lift off process you can see the idt patterns it's clearly visible on the resonator so now next step is we are putting it in in yellow solution to remove the uh, photoresist so we are doing it at 135 degree centigrade we do it for 35 minutes now this is the measurement part so we will put the G GSG probe on the GSG pads of our saw resonator and after doing this precise calibration we could see the S11 parameter by using the vector network analyzer and then you will see a dip coming here uh, at a particular frequency which is uh, which which it should come properly so uh, by following these steps we could make the saw resonator Thanks for watching the video.